the time he deserved. He was my son, but the job always came first. It had to. So naturally, he wanted to be part of my world, which is why he became the Ravager. He knew the Titans were a nuisance to me, and he thought if he could remove them, he'd win my approval. Sadly, he failed. All Grant ever wanted was to be loved by Slade. He let Hive experiment on him so he could be like his father. And in the end, it was the contract on the Titans that was his undoing. Joseph, on the other hand, didn't see the same fascination with his father. Especially not after the incident. contract with Hive to preserve his honor. None of my family understood the importance of honor, of doing the job and seeing it through to completion no matter what the cost. I built my reputation on it, and no son of mine will be dishonored or dishonor me with their shortcomings. Grant accepted his fate when he signed that contract. Joseph did not. Poor Joseph was just a bystander. A victim of my ex-husband's stubbornness and hubris. He paid the price for my husband's honor. A two-bit terrorist known as the Jackal wanted information on a hit I did. But I wouldn't give up my contractor. It was against my personal code of ethics. It would sully my reputation. The Jackal's men put a knife to our son Joseph's throat and demanded Slade to speak. Slade would not be extorted. He would not accept the ultimatum. Instead, he made his move. When it was over, all the hitmen lay dead. And our son lay dying in the street. I regret what happened to Joseph. I love him. But how could I allow him to see me compromise my ethics in front of low-life scum like the Jackal? Any true son of mine would give up his life to honor his father. <laughs> 